This tutorial is going to walk us through how we can use the new Smart Ink sticky notes to be used on our desktop. So before when we had just the digital ink layer, one way that we worked with the Smart Ink was just to write over top of the desktop just to model the possibilities for ink or to write a quick note to our students. And we get just a gray bar around the outside of our screen that was that digital overlay that was kind of like putting a big acetate sheet of overhead uh, projector material over top of our desktop. Now on our desktop we have a much better option and that's our Smart Ink Notes. So if I pick a pen and just begin writing, I can start creating a really big sticky notes with some notes for my students. If I decide I want more than one, if I want to maybe do some brainstorming, I can start to write a second or third note as I need to. I can also change my colors and I can have as many sticky notes that will fit on my desktop. Now if I come to my select tool and put my pen away, some of my options using the Smart Ink toolbar are to either capture these into notebook by hitting my capture button. So there it comes and those are just floating over top of each other right now. Or I can move these around my desktop as well. So if I grab them from the darker blue part of this uh, note right where it says Smart Ink Note, that's going to allow me to move these around my desktop as needed. And then when I'm done, I just hit an X and they'll go away. Right now you can see that my sticky notes aren't particularly bright blue and that's because I changed one of my settings. And I got rid of my sticky notes so I'm going to grab my settings just from a folder here. I'm going to use my Smart Ink drop down menu and on the window side I can click the settings button. And here I have an option to change my Smart Ink note opacity. Right now they're at 25%, so that would enable me to really show something on my desktop computer to my students uh, if I needed to point to an icon to launch an application or anything like that if I was teaching them how to use the computer. But I can change this to 100%, which is how the default is, how you would traditionally see your Smart Ink Notes when you first install, install Smart. And now if I start to write my sticky note, you can see that my note is a lot darker blue. So now I can write more and more notes with that dark blue, and you can have students up at the board collaborating in this way, just quick easy jot notes, and it becomes a quick collaboration brainstorming activity for students. So that's a really quick way that we can do some wonderful collaboration using the Smart Ink Notes.